what the actual fuck is going on at the minute? <laughs> Brain boggled. I'm going to need a bit of help with this one, I, bl- I believe, because um, some audience participation, because I can't get my head around what's going on here. Um, disclaimer, these are my thoughts and opinions. I'm not the facts guy. And also, I am inclined to swear. Sorry about that, but can't help myself get passionate. Anyway, so this week, there's been the stabbing in Southport by one Axel Rudakubana. Right. Um, and he is alleged to have stabbed three little girls to death and stabbed lots of other people. Um, I'm not belittling it. I'm just, this is part. I'm not going on about that. I don't know his motives. I don't know. But something fishy is attached to this. And surely I'm not seeing, I'm not the only person seeing what's weird about this. And obviously there is the, there is something else weird in it, in that he, um, little actor, when he was little, um, he dressed up as Doctor Who, funnily enough, for an advert for Children in Need, BBC, who would have known that there was anything shoddy that could even be tied in with the BBC? But this young man, you know, started life quite promising, got himself on the telly, a little bit of an acting job. Don't know the ins and outs behind that. Don't know how he got that gig. Um, and it's not the but what 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 is pertinent about that is that the BBC have taken it down. You cannot find that anywhere. Um, so if anybody's got it, please send it to me on Facebook because I, I want to know why it can't be seen. Do you know what I mean? Because what you don't want is to see this little boy being a really good actor in case it looks like, oh, shit, he's an actor. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. But what is what it is that's boggling my noggin to do with this whole shebang and RIP to those little kiddies and bless to the families, like, literally. Um, and you notice none of them have set up a GoFundMe. Well, maybe they have. Uh, and I would, I would, you know, wouldn't blame them because you don't expect to bury a child of that age. Um, I've not seen anything anywhere about any motives that he has for doing that. Um Again, please, this is an audience participation post. Please enlighten me, because I tend not to get too pulled in. It's not how I work. Uh, Unless, you know me, that's where I'm pulled to go. I'm just sort of glossing over it, and it's like, oh, my God, that's tragic. Bless, right? And then, boof, riots. Why? Why did the people of Southport have to come out and wreck their own town? You know, I never got this when I was little. You know, like, it's like I I grew up and people would just chuck things on the floor and it'd be like, well, what are you doing that for? It's like, oh, somebody will clean it up. Like, there aren't people paid to do that and people who work in shops shouldn't have to do that because, you know what I mean, they're not your servant, mate. They're just being paid to do a job. Anyways, it's like literally, if I see anybody dropping litter or, what, or anything like that, it's like, well, I don't challenge people, obviously. But I've always been like, but you are literally making the place that you live in dirty. You are, you are destroying where you live. And the people of Southport went out that night and destroyed where they live for them and their families to go out and, you know, all of the all of the carnage, witness all the carnage and just think, oh, shit, it's crap to live here, isn't it? They did that to themselves. Now, hot off the back of Southport, where it happened, doing it, the old country seems to have joined in. Now, um, I, and I don't know what the rioting about. It's in prison. You know, 
what the fuck are you rioting for? What are you hoping to achieve by being violent and causing criminal damage, ruining the place where you live? Now, this is where I go all conspiratorial. I don't think for a minute it's the people where they live. We have riots, all you know, like people kick off all the time. This, to me, looks organised. Do you know what I mean? Because it's just poof, poof. And I saw a news article earlier, like um, um, like list of list of cities where rioting is expected this weekend. Why? Oh, I live in Leicester. I reckon I'm going to go out and blow up the town hall, set fire to fucking McDonald's. Because one person went on a subby rampage somewhere that's nowhere near me that I've never been to in my life. I'm going to go out and get in a scrap with the Rosers and loot b and Agent provocateurs is what comes to mind because this seems, you know, like whether or not you know, that young man was part of a programme and it was a Mark David Chapman job. Don't know. Do you know what I mean? If he's, if he's, if he's been alleged, uh, if he's been in allegiance with the BBC from a young age, who knows what's been, what's been done to that lad? Who knows what state his head, his head's in? Do you know what I mean? There's some people are, are more susceptible. Um, I call to mind... Oh, Darren Brown, and I think it was called The Heist. And basically, he just, I think it was like interviewing people for a job or something, and he handpicked these people just on this course, like a motivational course or something. It was many years ago. I can't remember. All I can remember is that he got some of the people that he'd got on this course, good grief, sunshine. Nope, that's not fucking helping, is it? Bollocks. Need a better... Um, where was I? <laughs> Bathed in sunlight, that's where I was. Uh, but yeah, Devon Brown got several of these people to h- hold up a security van at gunpoint. Well, it wasn't a real gun, obviously. But he 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 got people driving down uh, the street playing music that he'd been playing to them on a loop whilst telling them things in this. Like, literally, go watch it. But this stuff is actually doable. Do you know what I mean? It is actually possible to control someone's mind. Um, do you know what I mean? So, but it's everything that's come off the back of it. People are attacking mosques. This guy's from Rwanda, but born in England. What the fuck has it got to do with Muslims? Tommy Robinson's brought into it. Now, we all know that Tommy Robinson, we all know who he works for. Do you know what I mean? I read something. So I'm so sorry. This is... <sighs> right, let's just do it this way. I read something where uh, somebody had gone like, yeah, these are like, yeah, obviously not all of them, but somebody had put in the comments of something on Facebook... Tommy Robinson's incarcerations and you would think as a repeat offender that his incarcerations are getting worse but it seems like they're getting less more community I didn't really process the information so again comments please let me know I don't think I don't trust Tommy Robinson for shit I think he started out as a racist thug and that is a charismatic racist Thug. There's not too not too difficult on the eye. T- ten out of ten, defo would smash. And that's you know, like women like a bit of a bad boy and whatever. So, and lads love a thug, a football hooligan, which is what he started out as. Do you know what I mean? He's a thug, and a very very well paid one. Have you seen his fucking house? You know what I mean, Alex Jones, David. I trust no one. Believe it, Russell Brand. Trust no one, believe nothing, not even me. Well, it's obvious I'm not bloody bought and paid for, and they couldn't buy me or pay for me. I don't even I don't even make money myself. Don't even monetize my channel. It's not what it's about. Like all of these people who are who are icons, they're all making a fortune from it. 
And the most basic truth of all is that money is the opposite of God. The pursuit of personal wealth. Mammon, what's in it for me? Do you know what I mean? Me above you. And that is not how I work. I work for the benefit of all, and I take nothing for what I'm trying to share, that I'm being taught. And I want to share it, because I think we all need to know what's happening. Now, yeah, so basically, please, like, I did actually, how many maps? You see, violence has continued to erupt across the country with dozens more protests planned for this weekend. Why? Now, I saw on the thing about um, when he did the little acting job, It's the, the, I ain't even opened the thing. Should we open the thing so I can read the whole headline? Killer on BBC. Killer child star. Moment Southport stabbing suspect Axel Ruda Canuba. Ruda Cabana. There's a song in that and I'm not going. Parry a man alone. Dressed as Dr. Who in BBC Children in Need promo video. That's not what it was. That's not what he said. He said moment Southport... What the fuck? Right. What am I missing? It said something. It's got to be. Yeah, no, here we go. It's about the riots. This week's riots are reprehensible, but UK's liberal elite have driven people into arms of far-right, blah de blah That's what it's about. In my personal opinion, this is being orchestrated by higher up powers. There's no way that you, I, if I went down Leicester City Centre now and sat in a fucking pub, everybody would be sat there going, I just want to fucking, oh mate, I want to ruin Sainsbury's. Do you know what I mean? Everybody I've talked to about it has been like, that's fucking heartbreaking, them poor little girls. That's been lost. It's like, how can we fucking stir racial hatred? I'm sorry, Mr. Robinson. Mr. Yaxley Leddon, I do apologise. That is somebody who's got a fake fucking name. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I've got a YouTube channel. It's my name. My, my short name is Kez. But I was born Kerry Ann. My name is Kerry Ann. And that shortens to Kez. I, ain't, I weren't born Deborah. Weren't born Karen, was born Kerry Ann, and I've kept the name. Though I don't trust people who change their name. You know, especially when your name's Stephen, why would you need to? Oh, Tommy, it's way, Tommy's way fucking more Mediter Mediterranean. That's not the word, it's exotic. Then Stephen, no, oh, Stephen actually, did like, there's a shitload of famous Stephens. Don't get it. Don't get it. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. But this is something that's getting on my tits. I do not get where the riots, why the riots, when one young man kills some kiddies, why do fully grown adult males decide to go out and hurl fucking headstones, set fire to police cars, what could the police have done about it? What, we're going to fucking target fucking all the mothers? Because his mum's probably got the guiltiest. Well, it's not. It's, you know, depends how much involvement he had with the BBC. I'm sorry, but the, the, these um, people, they don't have left and right there. We, we shouldn't have left and right. I am not left. I am not right. I don't conscribe to it either. I'm me. I am a unique, one of a kind individual. And I ain't in any groups. I do not accept pigeonholes. Do you know what I mean? I ain't even a truther or a conspiracy theorist or a tinfoil hatter. I am none of these things. I'm just me, Carrie Ann Howitt. 
doing what I do. And like we've just got herds, and that's the best word to describe them, of thugs. And I'm a bit ashamed. I'm more ashamed this week than I was when we went over to fucking Germany and ruined the country's fucking name at football again. Do you know what I mean? The mean, where are the men at? Where are the intelligent, grown-up, emotional, stable men in this country? Do you know what I mean? But watch this space, because like, there's no reason, no reason for anybody to have rioted, especially everybody else in the country that's not Southport. I can't understand it in Southport, but Southport is the only one that could possibly be explained away in any way, shape or form. Do you know what I mean? So it's a setup, in my personal opinion. The whole fucking writing bit is orchestrated. If you disagree, please tell me why. If you agree, please tell me why. Because, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I do talk to myself a lot here. <laughs> and it's nice to have some feedback. And I really, really appreciate every comment that I get. Anyways, if you made it till the end, I owe you a bevy. We'll go out and uh, trance lush, get some free bath bombs. When we get too Larry, out of it too, too much, too many vodkas and coat. We're like, yeah, fuck it. I'm bargains, mate. <laughs> I'd just be straight like wh wh wherever sold yarn. Really, let's loot somewhere that sells yarn if we're gonna go looting. Yeah. Anyways, take care. Never forget that I love you all. Bye.